Good day my friend, you've got a solar system, you've got a bank of batteries and you would like to add another one but you don't know how to connect it because if you connect it wrong, for instance here I've got a 24 volt system uh, battery if I connect it wrong it will give me a 48 volt battery okay so what I will do, I will connect now uh, another set of batteries to double the size of my battery without going on 48 okay i will keep 24 volts and i will show you how to do it i'm very sorry if i don't have much space to show you around but here um, against the wall i've got my 24 volt system okay so each element i've got is 2 volt uh, battery uh, or elements uh, and then connected to minus to positive minus to positive etc they accumulate each other so it'll go from 2 4 6 8 up to 24 volt system okay now for instance you've got um, you fitted that system and you had for instance I don't know uh, five panels and it works perfectly uh, it charged beautifully no problem now you for instance have doubled the size of your solar panels so now obviously you produce way too much power for your battery which doesn't matter because it will be stopped anyway but uh, it would be a shame to waste that energy and so it'll be best to actually add another bank of batteries so like that you will double your power okay so what we're gonna do now you see i've placed those batteries that we're gonna be connecting now uh, i place it exactly the same way that these ones are connected you see these ones are positive negative positive negative these ones i'm just gonna place them the same okay so i place them uh, after that i will connect them and when i will connect them i will show you something very important for them not to explode in your face okay because that's actually very dangerous and then once that bank is connected i will show you how to connect the two together and then we're good to go we now have the second bank of battery uh, in place what all we have to do now is to connect each battery together uh, for them to add another 24 volt system but don't connect it like that why because when you will connect the positive and the negative you may have a spark that will come up okay and inside those battery there's gas so a spark and gas it's a very bad combination okay so what i recommend you to do is to open each of the elements all of them okay why all of them because you will connect all here okay and then once it's done you blow on the battery like this <laughs> Why doing that? Because when you do that, the little gas that's inside will escape, okay? And then, now you will be able to connect it without any problem. Now, if you got one spark, it doesn't matter. It won't blow up in your face, okay? So that's super important to do it. How do I know it? One blow up in my face, okay? And I know. I was a long time and nearly death, okay? So please do it. So let's connect all of these now. Now to connect one bank onto the other, what we will do, I will use a cable, as you can see this one is way too long, okay, so <clears throat> I will cut it, okay, more or less here, okay, that way I will be able to connect one uh, uh, battery negative to the other battery negative, okay, from one bank to another, and the other, the other cable will be to connect the other positive with the other positive of the other bank. So to recap, we've got that bank connected, we've got that bank that we use already, it's connected. Now we're going to connect the two together. So as you can see, the negative onto the negative, and on the other side, the positive to the positive. Before to do that, we will switch the system off, okay? Uh, why? Because we will have to disconnect the batteries for one brief moment in order to connect them. And if the panels continue to charge, you will burn your system, okay? So it's very imperative if you got a switch, switch it off. If not, disconnect the panels to make sure no charge comes onto the system, okay? And then we're going to connect this here and the other one as well.
Okay, so this is how it's connected. You see, negative on negative. Okay, so now we add another bank. Okay, if we had to connect, for instance, negative to positive, etc., we will have a 48 volt system. Okay, but now that way we've got 24 volt. We'll keep it that way. But remember, you see this one, the negative that's going that way, it's going directly to the inverter. Perfect. Okay, and now the positive is not going to that bank, it's going to the other bank. Okay, so we've got the positive connected on one bank and the negative connected on to the other bank. And that's how we have the 24 volt system with more batteries. Okay, if you've connected the other way, for instance, negative to positive, etc., you will have a 48 volt system. And as we have a look, it works perfectly well. See, we've got 230 volt nearly at the house and the regu uh, solar regulator uh, charging fine perfect this is it now you know how to connect two banks of battery together in parallel uh, i hope that you have liked the video i hope it's useful to you if you've got any questions if you would like to know something about solar system please do not hesitate to ask and i will try my best my best to help you okay so until then take care of yourself ciao